This episode of DNews is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way. He may look sad to see you go, but I'm sorry to say, when you leave the house, two minutes later, your dog forgot you were even there. <laughs> Hello everyone, thank you for watching D News Today. I'm Trace, but before we get into animal memory, make sure you stay to the end of this video for a huge announcement. So an elephant never forgets. Flipper, no one you see is smarter than he. My dogs and my cats miss me when I'm not there. We are constantly personifying the smarts of our animal friends, but how would we actually test this? In a 2014 issue of Behavioral Processes, a researcher from Stockholm University tried to do just that. Using delayed matching to sample training, researchers tested the memory retention of 25 species, including chimpanzees, dolphins, seals, crows, dogs, rats, macaques. They trained each animal to look at a colored light and then presented them with a choice of two colored lights later. If the animal remembered the correct light, they were rewarded. In this way, they could test over and over again and see how long an animal could remember which one they'd seen first. Rats performed the best when there was no delay between the first light and the second two lights, but dogs were the best as that delay increased. But don't get too excited. It turns out dogs have an arbitrary short-term memory of a little over two minutes and our genetic cousin the chimpanzee was completely average at around a minute, which is kind of impressive. Which shows that at some point six million years ago when we branched off from chimpanzees, we developed an arbitrary memory and they didn't. Kind of cool. Humans, for comparison, can easily complete this task 48 hours later. The thing is, memory is really... What's the word? difficult to test. The researchers acknowledge this is only testing the arbitrary short-term memory. Dolphins who scored second highest have been documented to recall the whistles of their friends even 20 years later because it's a different kind of memory. Elephants can remember trauma or family members or friends over long periods of time as well. So does my dog really forget me when I leave the house? No, not really. This research shows that humans have a very adept arbitrary memory or stuff that doesn't matter that much. Matching a colored light to another one doesn't really affect your survival, and yet for some reason, our brain chooses to store this information. Animals likely don't do that. Where humans use episodic memory, as in we understand what happened, what's happening now, and what will happen in the future, animals learn behaviorally. A dog knows that it's time to eat, not because they know it's five o'clock at night, they can sense how hungry they are, and on average, they've been trained that they receive food before work and after. Based on this and other research, people believe that animals have an inferred memory. They remember things that are relevant to their survival. For example, a cat remembers where its food is when you go away for the weekend, but it probably doesn't really know exactly how long you've been gone. A cheetah may remember it had a kill this morning because it's still full of food, or maybe which female a male cheetah mated with because the brain imprinted her scent so he spreads his genes better, but that cheetah won't likely remember if it rained last week. In the 1950s, psychologist George Miller determined that humans can store seven chunks of information in our short-term memory, give or take. But the problem is, the more we really dig into how memory works, the more nebulous the whole thing becomes. Testing covert behavior, or behavior that we can't really see externally, is very problematic because we can't see what's going on inside of animals' heads and we can't ask them what they're thinking about. And in the end, take any study like this with a grain of salt. Even the researchers say, this is just one way to measure memory. So while your scent is probably imprinted on your pet as a member of its pack or its family, it doesn't remember that birthday card that you bought her last year. Instead, your pet is more concerned with things related to its survival than the arbitrary joys that you personify upon them. But that doesn't mean that they don't care. They just care differently than we do. How does this study make you feel, though? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more DNews. And now that announcement that I mentioned earlier. I'm really excited to announce the launch of our brand new sister show, Seeker. We take a science approach here on DNews. You probably know that. They took a look at the more human side, like in this video about the risky oil exploration of the Arctic. The grounding was a major disaster and shockingly expensive for oil. The mission cost an estimated $6 billion, and they came away with nothing. So the question is, why are oil companies willing to take such giant risks? Seriously, this is a fantastic brand spanking new show, and I know you're gonna love it. Evan and Lisette are the best, so go click on the first link in the description and check it out. Thanks for watching. This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way.